Good morning, dear students. Today, let us discuss the optimal solution of a transportation problem by UB method. Algorithm of UB method. UB method is also known as MODI method. MODI means modified method. After the determination of an initial basic feasible solution, our problem is to improve the set of solutions so that we may get an optimal solution. An important and a useful method to do this is UB method. So now let us consider a transportation problem with M origins and N destinations, where AI is the capacities of the I origin, BJ is the requirement of the Z destination, and CIJ is the course in the IJ cell. Step 1. First, we have to find a basic feasible solution of the given transportation problem by any method say Norway's corner rule, least cost method, Bogel approximation method. For non-degenerate problem there will be m plus n minus 1 independent positive allocations. Step 2. For allocated cells we set the equations ui plus bj minus cij equal to 0. From this, we have to solve the variables u1, u2, u3, and so on, b1, b2, b3, bn, by putting any one of them equal to 0. Step 3, for unallocated cells, we have to calculate aij equal to ui plus bj minus cij. Then case number 1, in all AIJ less than zero, then the solution obtained is optimal and unique. Case two, in all AIJ less than zero, and with at least one of the AIJ is zero, then we said that the solution is optimal, but not unique. Means there may be another solution, but the same, giving the same transportation cost. Case three, if at least one AIJ is greater than zero, the solution is not optimal and go to next step. Step 4. The cell with the largest AIJ is selected. A closed loop is formed from this cell and passes through even number of cells. We have to form a closed loop starting from the cell giving the largest bill of AIJ. Then the closed loop will pass through even number of cell. Next, Starting from this cell, we have to allocate an amount theta with alternate positive and negative sign to the cells. So we have to put plus theta, minus theta, plus theta, minus theta. The value of theta is chosen, which will render the negative values for all the basic variables in the new solution. These are the algorithm for solving UB method. So now let us discuss one problem and apply it. UV method. A farm owns facilities at six places. It has manufacturing plant at places A, B, and C with daily production of 50, 40, and 60 units respectively. At point D, E, and F, it has three warehouses with daily demands of 20, 95, and 35 units respectively. Per unit shipping costs are given in the following table. If the farm wants to Minimize its total transportation cost. How should it do its products? So this is a problem. So now let us solve this problem. First, we have to construct a transportation table. This is a transportation table. So there are three sources and three destinations. This is source one, 
this is source 2 this is source 3 then destination 1 destination 2 destination 3 so transferring course is 6 4 1 3 I 7 4 4 2 then capacity is for source 1 is 50 next is 40 then last one is 60 then demand at the three places are 20 95 35 units so this is total supply is 150 total demand is also 150 so this is a balanced transportation problem so first let us find the initial basic solution by using say Norway's corner rule in Norway's corner rule first we have to assign here so here is 20 here is 50 so you assign 20 then the remaining is 30 so first column is exhausted then next Norway's corner is in this cell so we can assign 30 here then this is 65 so then pass row exhausted pass column exhausted so the remaining cell northwest corner is here so we can assign 40 so the remaining is 25 so second row is exhausted so we have two cell Northwest corner is here so you can assign 25 the remaining is 35 so the last one 35 35 you may write 35 here so now we have got initial basic feasible solution so here number of solution number of solutions is equal to one two three four five so you check m plus n minus one a means number of rows number of rows three n means number of column three minus one so six minus one is five so here m plus n minus 1 equal to m is the number of rows n is the number of column so this is 6 minus 1 5 so here number of solution is equal to m plus n minus 1 therefore the solution is non-degenerate therefore the basic feasible solution therefore the basic feasible solution is none degenerate therefore the basic feasible solution is non degenerate so this is the initial basic feasible solution next we have to test the optimality condition whether the solution is optimal or not so next let us form another table So there are three rows and three columns. So you write here U1, U2, U3, B1, B2, B3. So you write this is 6, 4, 1, 3, I, 7, four four two 
so initial allocation is 20 30 40 25 35 for allocated cells we have to take you have to write the equation say u1 plus b1 minus 6 equal to 0 ui plus bj minus cig equal to 0 for allocated cells next u1 plus b2 minus 4 equal to 0 then u2 plus b2 minus i equal to 0 then third row u3 plus b2 minus 4 equal to 0 u3 plus b3 minus 2 equal to 0 so here maximum number of location is occurred in second column so putting b2 equal to 0 putting b2 equal to 0 so now we have to solve this b2 is 0 so therefore u1 b2 is 0 u1 is 4 next u2 b2 is 0 so this is i next b2 is 0 u3 equal to 4 then u1 is 4 so b1 equal to u1 is 4 4 minus 6 means minus 2 so it become 2 next u1 is 4 so 4 4 cancel b2 0 this okay then u3 u3 is 4 u3 is 4 4 4 cancel b2 equal to 0 that's correct u3 u3 is 4 b3 u3 is 4 then 2 it become minus 2 4 8 4 0 2 minus 2 4 non allocated cells for non allocated cells say u1 plus b3 u1 plus b3 minus 1 equal to then u1 u2 plus b1 minus 3 u2 plus b3 minus 7 u3 plus b1 minus 4 so you put the value u1 u1 is 4 what is b3 b3 is minus 2 minus 1 so it become 1 next u2 u2 is 8 b1 is 2 minus 3 so 10 minus 3 means 7 next u2 8 b3 minus 2 minus 7 so it become minus 1 so last u3 is 4 b1 2 minus 4 it become 2 so now for non allocated cells the evaluations are 1 7 minus 1 2 if this values all are negative then this is the optimal stage but here some values are become positive so it is not an optimal stage so we have to go for the iteration so the maximum value is here 
So this cell is U two B one. U two B one means second row, first column. So we have to take the maximum value and we have to assign theta. So U two B one is here. So you put theta here and you make a close part starting from this cell passing through even number of cell then you write minus here you write plus here you write minus here so by adding in column wise plus theta minus theta we can cancel no effect and adding row wise minus theta plus theta cancel theta minus theta cancel so adding row wise or column wise there will be no effect on the allocation so next then you have to we have to find the value of theta so you take minimum one 20 minus theta 40 minus theta so take minimum of 20 minus theta comma 40 minus theta is equal to zero so the minimum is 20 minus theta equal to 0, therefore theta equal to 20. So the value of theta is 20. So we can another table. You write here U1, U2, U3, B1, B2, B3. 6, 4, 1, next 3, 8, 7, 4, 4, 2. So this 25, you write, then 35. So the value of theta is 20. So you write 20 here. This 40 minus 20 means 20. Then 30 plus 20 means 50. Here 20 minus 20 is 0. So this is the new allocation. Again, let us start similarly as done before. For allocated cells u1 plus b2 minus 4 equal to 0 next u2 plus b1 minus 3 equal to 0 u2 plus b2 minus i equal to 0 next u3 plus b2 minus 4 equal to 0 then u3 plus b3 minus 2 equal to 0 for allocated cell u1 plus b2 minus 4 u2 plus b1 minus 3 u2 plus b2 minus 8 u3 plus b2 minus 4 u3 plus b3 minus 2 yes this is correct so maximum allocation is also again in second column. So you write putting B2 equal to 0. So putting B2 equal to 0. So from third equation, we'll get U2 equal to this is 0, 8. Next, B2 is 0. U3 is 4. So next. Uh, B2 is 0, so U1, B2 is 0, U1 is 4. So, next, U2, U2 is 8, 8 minus 3 means 5, so B1 equal to minus 5. Then, this okay, then U3, th uh, this okay, then u3 is 4 4 minus 2 means 2 so b3 equal to 4 minus 2 2 so it becomes minus 2 
Next, let us calculate the values for non-allocated cells. For non-allocated cells. So you write say U1 plus B1 minus 6. Next U1 plus B3 minus 1. Next U2 plus B3 minus 7. Then U3 plus B1 minus 4. So you calculate these values. U1 here. So U1 is 4. Then B1. B1 is minus 5. Then minus 6. So this is equal to minus 7. Next U1. U1 is 4. B3 minus 2 then minus 1. It become 1. Then U2. U2 is 8. Then B3 minus 2 minus 7. It become minus 1. Last U3. U3 is 4. Then B1 minus 5 minus 4. So 4, 4 cancel minus 5. So here the first one is negative, the second one is positive, third one is negative, last one is negative. So still there is a one positive. So this is not an optimal stage. So next we have to move another iteration. So this positive, so we have to make a new allocation here. So you write theta here and form a close part. We have to put theta here. Then you make a close part passing through even number of cell. So you change this, leave this then. So this is starting point. So we have make a close part leaving this cell, leaving this cell and this is cell passing through the closed part, this. Then here is theta, so you write minus theta here, then this is plus, plus theta, here is minus theta. We have to sign alternately, plus minus. So by adding column wise, theta can be, will be cancelled, and adding row wise, also theta will be cancelled. So there will be no effect on the values of the basic variable. So now we have to take the value of theta. So you take minimum. So here is 35 minus theta. Here is 50 minus theta equal to 0. So what is the minimum one? Here. So 35 minus theta equal to 0. Therefore, theta equal to 35. The new allocation is 35, 15. So you write this is 20. Then next is 20. This is 35 plus 15. It becomes 60. So let us calculate for alloc uh, allocate cell for allocated cells so u1 plus b2 minus 4 equal to 0 u1 plus b3 minus 1 equal to 0 u2 plus b1 minus 3 equal to 0 u2 plus b2 minus i equal to 0 then last one u3 plus b2 minus 4 equal to 0 
So the maximum allocation is in V2. So you take V2 equal to 0. So putting V2 0 here, so therefore U1 equal to 4, then V2 0 here, U2 equal to I, V2 here, U3 equal to 4. So now U1, U2, U3, we have got the so next B1. So U2 here. U2 is 8, 8 minus 3, 5. So B1 is minus 5. Then next we need B3, B3 here. So U1 is 4, 4 minus 1 means 3. So B3 equal to minus 3. So next, let us calculate for non-allocated cells. For non-allocated cells, say U1 plus B1 minus 6. Then next, U2, you write U2 plus B3 minus 7. So next is U3 plus B1 minus 4. Then last one, U3 plus B3 minus 2. So putting the below U1, U1 is 4. What is the B1? B1 is minus 5, then minus 6. So it becomes minus 7. Next is U2. U2 is 8. B3. You take minus 3, then minus 7. It becomes minus 2. Then next U3. U3 is 4. B1. B1 is minus 5, then minus 4. So it becomes minus 5. Last one, U3. U3 is 4. Then B3. B3 is minus 3. Then minus 2. So it becomes minus 1. So now all the values are negative. So this is an optimal stage. This is an optimal this is an optimal stage. This is an optimal stage. Therefore, the solutions, therefore, the solutions are say x, 1, 2, 15, x, 1, 3, 35, x two one twenty x two two twenty x three two sixty these are the solution so finally you find out transposition cos Transportation cost. You find out transportation cost. So four into fifteen. One into thirty-five. Three into twenty. Eight into twenty. 4 into 60. So it becomes 60. Then 35. 60. 
So now 5, this is 9, 15, 21, 25, carry 2, the 3, 5. So this is the transportation course. So there is a one assignment problem. So the question is determine an initial basic feasible solution of the following transportation problem by Vogel approximation method. So there is a one transportation problem. So first you find out the initial basic feasible solution by using Vogel approximation method. So after that test the optimality of the solution by using UV method as I have done here. So then finally you find out the optimal solution. This is your assignment. Okay. Thank you. So let us stop today here.